Hey there, percussion. So today we're actually going to be using our Alfred's book again. So um, if you have your book at home, you can get it out. If not, you can find a copy of this book in our Google Classroom under classwork. Scroll all the way down to um, essential, yeah, essential elements books. And then you'll see at the bottom of that, it'll say uh, Alfred's drum method and you can pull it right up. So we're going to go back to lesson 12 on page 28, okay? And it says two, four, time. Okay, so we were working on some of our rudiments before. Now we're gonna jump back this week. We're just gonna work on a different kind of time signature. So um, in the past, we've been working with four, four, time. So that's the top one. Oops, I, I wrote that wrong, I wrote two, two. Okay, so we're working on four, four. And remember we were counting up to four because there were four beats in each measure. Okay, so we had one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then when we learned our eighth notes, it would be one and two and three and four. And when we learned 16th notes, it was one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So this week we're gonna learn a different time signature. We're gonna learn this bottom one, two, four. So you can see that the top numbers are different, but the bottom numbers are the same. So let's talk about what the top and the bottom numbers mean. You can also find this in your book on page 28. It tells you about it at the top of the page, okay? So the top number of a time signature tells us how many beats are in each measure. So when there's a four, we count four. One, two, three, four, just like we talked about. Now that there's a two, we're only going to count to two. So you can see that we've written that out. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, or one and two and one and two and or one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a, just like that. Um, the fours are the same. So the four just tells us that a quarter note gets one beat. So you're gonna see quarter notes, they'll be one beat, Eighth notes are still half a beat. Sixteenth notes are still a quarter of a beat. Okay, they're of one E, one e and or a. Okay, so let's take a look now at, we're going to go through a couple of the practice ones, and then we'll go over the uh, combination study first line. Okay, so starting at the very beginning, remember, I know it's been a while, but our counts are actually written above the notes in all of the little exercises. So we've got one and two and one and two and one, two, one, two. Then we got the repeat. You can go back and play it again. After the repeat, we've got one, two, one, two. Okay, let's hold it open. And uh, one and two and one and two and. So the first half is going to just kind of be reversed for the second half. And you'll see that for each exercise. So I'm going to play exercise one right now guys are welcome to play along or follow along in your book, okay? So, stand up. Okay, it's like this. One and two and one and two and one, two, one, two. One and two and one and two and one, two, one. Keep going. One, two, one, two, one and two and one. with the repeats that time. Let's take a look at number, let's skip down to number three. Okay, so in number three, we have some eighth rest. So here's an eighth rest on beat two. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the repeat this time, okay? You can do it as you practice though. I'm gonna hold it open actually, it's gonna hurt. Let's do that, okay. So to count, it would be like this. One and two and 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 so I'll play it like this. One and two and 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 one two and one two. Okay. And last 
let's look at number six. So in number six, we're skipping around with more rests. Okay, so we actually start with a rest on beat one. So remember, when you start off, you need to leave that first rest silent, okay? So it's one and two and 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 one and two. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. So what I want you guys to turn in to me for your homework is the first line of the combination study. Okay, so let's go through the rhythm together. It combines all of these rhythms. As you know, they usually do. They combine them, okay? So it starts off like this. One, two, one, and two. And two and one 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 and two. Okay, here's what it sounds like. If you have any questions about how to play that, um, have fun. Have fun playing through these uh, little exercises this weekend with your combination study. Bye.